Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good people, it is Thursday. And on Thursday, we continue with uh, the series for men. And we started yesterday on how a man needs to extend a hand of love to himself. And the last part of yesterday we said is that, uh, dear men, it is important that uh, you give to yourself often. Give to yourself. Wake up one day and go and do some shopping for yourself. For yourself. It doesn't matter how much you have. Even if you have some little money. Even if it is eating something. Once in a while, give to yourself. Take yourself out. Do something for yourself. And as you do that, please don't forget that uh, the only person who can love you, the way you'd want to be loved, it is yourself. After God, only yourself. Some of you are complaining because you have wives that are toxic and difficult. You, sometimes some of you are complaining because you don't feel the love of your spouses. And that is why some of you have run away from their matrimonial homes. But then let me ask you. Hypothetically, assume your wife does not love you adequately. Your mother and your dad, they do not love you adequately. Your brothers and sisters, they are suspicious of your progress. Some of your friends do not love you adequately. Some of your leaders in religion, again, they do not. So you can imagine, all of us, all of us, are your aggressors. And then at the same time, because of the frustrations, you start now punishing yourself. You forget that maybe the reason why we cannot extend love to you, it is because even ourselves, we are complaining. And actually, we are inadequate. So you cannot use our inadequacy to judge us that we are indifferent or mean. No, you can't. Dear men, the way you treat your friends, treat yourself. On this, uh, on, from myself, do it even better. Do it even better. You cannot be doing so many good things to your friends and then you have forgotten yourself. Do you know I have had cases of men, of men, who do great things to their friends, and the man is struggling. Somebody even giving a friend his own vehicle. The friend is using your own vehicle, and you have nothing to use. No, that is not right. Some of you have been conned by your friends because you treat them better than you treat yourself. And when your friends realize that you have a problem because treating others better than you treat yourself shows that you have a problem. And some of your friends are cleverer than you think. They are more wise and they know. Some of you use you as a fool because they know. You don't question anything. That is why they run to you every other time. They use you. In fact, the word is that they use you. Dear men, refuse to be used. Refuse. Haven't I even had men who lost all their property to Freds? Men who treat Freds better than they do to their children and their spouses. And these are the people, when you are in trouble, they will not come to your aid. Dear men, treat yourself well. Accept your faults. When you are wrong, accept that you have failed and fix whatever it is that you have done. Please. It can't be that everybody else is at fault, but not you. Things are not working. The only person to be blamed is your wife. If you're not blaming your wife, blaming your children. 
If you're not blaming your children, blaming your parents, he doesn't work that way. He does not. Just accept your fault. If you have made a mistake, what is so difficult by saying I'm sorry? That does not make you less of a man. It does not make you less of a human being. It does not. In fact, you become great by accepting your fault. Stop the negative narrative. Something we call the inner talk. Inner talk is what you tell yourself. Some of you are perpetual pessimists. There's nothing good you see in yourself. And you keep on telling yourself how useless you are. You can't be useless. You are not. And you will never be. Please stop telling yourself that you are useless. Because you are not. You are not useless. You will never be useless. Stop that negative talk. Tell yourself something good. Even if nothing is working in you, don't say that every day that I am jinxed, my life is jinxed, I add up to nothing, I am not a good person, you know this and this one, this and this one, I am cursed. You are not cursed. Dear men, you are blessed. You are not cursed. You are blessed. Wake up every day and trod out there as a blessed man. When nothing is working, tell yourself, I know today nothing is working, but I know my tomorrow will be greater than my today. Dear men, learn to speak life into yourself. Learn to speak breakthrough into yourself. Learn to speak victory into yourself. Learn to, lead, to speak blessings into yourself because you are a blessed son of the living God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, keep enjoying this day and enjoy your life. Get out of there and smile. Mm-hmm.